friends gathering to remember a nail technician police say was murdered by her estranged husband. That suspect reportedly took pictures of her body after the shooting and then sent that to her friends. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live in Plantation with this tragic story. And Christy Calvin, Calvin, police confirmed they have those photos. They're part of the investigation. This young woman told her colleagues here at the Contour Day Spa that she wanted a divorce. She wanted to be free. Instead, on Friday, she was killed. With a video tribute, a song, and tearful stories, friends and colleagues remember Nak Nguyen, nicknamed Jade, who police say was shot to death Friday night by her estranged husband. She was beautiful. She was sweet. She was selfless. But loved ones say Jade also lived in fear of that estranged husband. This man, Brandon No. She called me because she thinking about Brandon maybe kill her. This friend says Jade called her Friday night, leaving the line open so she could hear No's threats. The friend calling 911. But around 10 p.m., police say No opened fire inside the plantation apartment the two once shared and reportedly snapped this gruesome photo of Jade's lifeless body, sending it to an old boss. He then allegedly took this selfie. You can see blood on his neck. We are aware that he took pics with his wife's body, police confirm. She did have bruises on her ear. Co-workers at the Contour Day Spa where Jade worked tell us they noticed signs of abuse. Jade, nervous to call authorities. I'm so, so scared. Friends say she texted last month. No, now facing a murder charge. I told her that we were going to get through whatever happens. Her story needs to be told. Everyone needs to know because there's a lot of people out there that is going through the same thing. What an emotional tribute right here at the day spa right now. Friends and colleagues are trying to figure out how to get that one young woman's body from here back to her home country of Vietnam so her family can have a funeral. We're in Plantation. I'm Janine Standwood, Local 10 News. So sad and heartbreaking, Janine. Thank you.